Hello, everybody. Andrew Majewski here. A little fun thing for Halloween for you. Halloween week, I should say, it comes once a year. Why not have fun with it? So let's talk about your independent dental hygiene practice and if this is something that you want to get started on doing and how I got started. Just do it. So I started with a mobile dental hygiene practice. I do have a practice in my own home as well, but I am still fully mobile because the point is I want to reach people who can't leave their house. Um, they might have special needs or they might have dental anxiety, which happens so often where they're just fearful to go to the dentist. So me coming to their house, they start to feel better. They do start to feel comfortable. And then eventually they're not as fearful to go to the dentist because as an independent dental hygienist, we do still need to tell our clients to see the dentist at least once a year. I like them to go at least once a year for the full dental checkup, x-rays if needed, all of that. So if you're wondering if you can start your own dental hygiene practice, absolutely you can. If I can do it, anybody can do it. You can definitely do it. Of course, it depends on where you live. In some states, you cannot have your own dental hygiene practice. You need to work under a dentist. I live near London, Ontario, Canada, so we can have our own practice since I want to say 2007, which is amazing. Oh my goodness. I was in school at that time. And I remember thinking, oh my goodness, this would be the most amazing thing. And it truly is the most amazing thing. Um, a couple little side notes about my business. I do offer um, direct billing to my clients. I am mainly mobile. So as I said, I go to their house. I have the full PPE. I have the full compressor unit. I have a pullout um, patient chair. I bring my own little tables if there's not enough um, table space in a client's house. I bring my instruments all in like Tupperware containers to keep them separated. I bring the disinfectant, the whole works. And then I bring everything back to my own home where I have my lab um, sterilization area in my basement. So in case you were wondering how that works, if you are interested in being your own mobile dental hygienist, but maybe not necessarily having your own sterilization area, you do not have to. You can always rent out a separate office space, let's say at a dental office. Um, and even if you don't want to sterilize your own instruments at home to have that extra expense, because it's definitely an extra expense having to buy the sterilizer, the, the you know spore test, the incubator, all of the indicators, the pouches, wraps, all of that. You can always sterilize at a dental office, but of course you would be with probably pay them for using their space, that kind of thing, but there are options. So let me know you guys, if you have any questions, I do have a course called Mobile RDH um, Academy, where I go through everything, literally from me applying for a business loan to how much I did apply for, to my startup costs, expenses, how much I actually made the first year, even the first couple weeks, the first couple months, the first year, I've been in business for almost two years now. So I talk about all of that. So thank you guys so much for listening and I'll see you guys in the next one.